Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week. This week is exciting because I went to Chicago with my dad. It was a work trip, but I found lots of time to eat super cool vegan food. Before I jump in, I want to say this video is sponsored by Patreon. Honestly, I rely on Patreon a lot to keep going on YouTube and Instagram because YouTube doesn't pay how it used to like a couple years ago. So I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons for making these videos happen. If you want to join, I have a link down in my description. Patrons get to see my videos early and they also get access to my Finsta where I give all the details about my life and tea and if I'm annoyed with brands and basically everything I can't post publicly. I am not a dietitian or a nutritionist, I'm just a random foodie girl showing you the things I get to eat while keeping some sort of a budget because rent in New York City is expensive. Every morning I take a B12 and a D3 and I also drink a coffee but I don't usually record it because I just don't feel like recording in the morning. With all those disclaimers, let's hop right into the video. Hey guys, I'm leaving to go to the airport with my dad in about three hours. We're heading to Chicago to the Chicago Responsible Jewelry Council and and I'll tell you a lot more about that later, but for now, I've been running around everywhere trying to get ready, not for the council, but also for Reba New York's first pop-up, which is gonna be literally the day after the council. So I come back home from Chicago Saturday night, and then Sunday morning is our first pop-up ever, and I feel hella frazzled, but I'm doing the best I can, and I packed myself some overnight oats to eat right now. Um, I've been putting frozen raspberries in my overnight oats, and it's been amazing. So these overnight oats has been Oatmeal, chia seeds, a little bit of organ vanilla protein powder, almond milk, and raspberries. And it's like a creamy, it doesn't look great. It looks lot. But it's like a creamy vanilla raspberry, and then I smash some raspberries down. Sort of situation. It's kind of like a little dessert. And it's like super filling. I'm having this for breakfast. And I hope you enjoy my crazy week ahead. Reva New York's first pop-up is going to be on Marathon Day. I just found out that Marathon Day is the same day as the pop-up. And if you're not from New York, or you just moved here, Marathon Day is the single worst day in New York City. I've cried in traffic several times on Marathon Day because I got stuck in it. And not only do I not know how I'm gonna get to the pop-up with all of the props and the jewelry and stuff, I'm afraid that no one's gonna show up because it's Marathon Day. And the amount of time and effort and money we've put into this pop-up I'm gonna eat some fried rice and I'm probably gonna be really busy. So let me show you the fried rice I made so you know that I'm gonna eat it right before I go to the airport. It's based on the Trader Joe's fried rice, which I use all the time for meal prep. I just put some random shit in it to bulk it up. I should probably just eat it now because I have to leave soon. Anyway, I added broccoli and mushrooms and sriracha tofu from Trader Joe's and these random noodles that I found. And then I add a little bit of extra teriyaki sauce, a little bit of maple syrup, sriracha, make it a little bit spicy. And this will be my lunch. We've made it through the airport and we're currently at the Centurion Lounge. There isn't much for me to eat here, but I'm kind of craving fruit. I grabbed two apples. Kind of for later and I might grab some little pineapple pieces too. Here's my little snack plate. I'm gonna eat this and then we have to head to the airplane. Our flight board's in 30 minutes. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> I'm in Chicago and I found a farmer's fridge, which I've seen at a couple airports before, but basically it's a bunch of like pretty healthy options, a couple vegan ones, um, and the one that I chose was a burrito bowl. So, We'll check it out once I get it. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Wait, how does this work? Wait, where does it go? <gasps> ah, that's so cool. Okay, so this is my dinner. We're going to take this to the hotel and try it there. We have arrived at our hotel. I am not hungry as I thought I was. I am tired. Don't mind the echo. The bathroom has the best lighting. Um, good morning. So, obviously I've slept and woken up and showered and gotten ready at this point. And I don't know if there's gonna be any breakfast I could eat at the Responsible Gen Boutique, which is where we're going. Uh, so I think for breakfast I'm just gonna eat that burrito bowl that I got yesterday. And I found this little sugar spoon in 
the hotel room. I think it's like for stirring your coffee or whatever. Uh, so let's do a little bit of a burrito bowl review. Okay, this is guacamole. Guacamole and pico de gallo. You know, I probably couldn't get a better breakfast than this. Okay, we're at like day one of the conference. Now, this is a little bit different than the other days of the conference. This is a responsible gem boutique. But not just gems, also other responsibly sourced materials. And we're the only non-gem people here because we source Fairmind Gold. I don't want to bore you. I know y'all are here for the food and not the jewelry, but Fairmind Gold is basically certified ethical gold and there's very little of it on the market um, and we're the only ones that make Fairmind chains in the United States so we're here showing our Fairmind chains so other ethical designers uh, know they have a good source to purchase from and I'll show you the little table I set up for my dad because I'm very proud these are all the other suppliers these are all again gem suppliers like for example take a look at how big these gems are anyway this is the table that I set up for my dad. Um, we have, these are the Fairmind chains that we make and in Brooklyn. Some more Fairmind chains over there. And then we have like Fairmind clasps and findings and stuff. This is Riva New York's contribution to Fairmind. So we have like a really tiny collection based off of these little gold grains. Um, a ring, a necklace, and little tiny studs, but I thought it'd be fun to just bring it. And then we have these invisible clasps that my dad makes. And then this is like a little, I don't know, example of how to use an invisible clasp. And we also do gold bullion in Fairmind as well. Wish us luck. These are all ethical gem suppliers, which is so exciting and so rare. It is such an honor to be here. I'm in a neighborhood called Jewelers Row in Chicago. I'm assuming it's similar to the Diamond District, but oh my God. Like this whole building, hold up, watch this. That whole building is just jewelers and manufacturers. Oh, see, literally it says Jewelers Center. I'm actually looking for a Starbucks because I like already set my dad up. He can talk with his little jewelry friends and I need coffee. You, you guys want to see my like business fit? So I don't wear like adult clothes ever until I have to. It's not bad. I mean, like, I thought it would be, like, less comfortable than it is. I pick good business clothes, though. Like, I pick comfy clothes. We found the Starbucks. Can I please just have a grande cold brew with one pump sugar-free vanilla, one pump hazelnut, and a splash of soy milk? Awesome. I needed this. Oh, you know what? I should get my dad something to eat. Oh, he has little protein bars. I ate at like 8 a.m., which means it's like almost 2 and I'm starving. I went on Google, I found a sweet green about a block away, and I feel like, you know, that's a safe bet for lunch. Bad news. The bad news is the sweet green is way farther than I thought it would be. But the good news is, I realized that Fawn's plant-based empanadas have a location here. They just opened a location in New York, and I plan on shooting there when I get back. But I guess I get a sneak preview to see if I like the empanadas or not, because that's the closest thing that has like an easy... An easy thing to eat around here. There it is. How cute. What makes these empanadas unique is, I mean, obviously they're vegan and stuff, but just look how cute they are. The shape and colors are adorable. Here's all the flavors. I basically chose the ones I think my dad will like. So I purposefully chose the ones that are like more meaty. Um, I got two of these chorizo cheese and potatoes and this Andean one that has beyond meat and rice. I'm pretty sure he'll like this one. Um, and I got, I got us each one, so I got two of these and two of these for us to have each one and hopefully he likes them maybe we can force him to do a little review thank you oh it's so cute yo I tried to grab one to eat now and I totally dropped it in the bag because it's so hot okay I think this is a potato cheese one don't taste much cheese but it's kind of nice and spicy and it's pretty good mm, 7.75 out of 10 I think the dough is kind of if uh, empanada was a hot pocket all right, still walking back, and we are on empanada number two. I think I like this one better. It's not very heavy on the Beyond Meat. I don't really taste the meat, but I think it's just, I like the flavoring. I'll give it an eight out of 10. Oh my God, I feel so much better. Success. The dad is eating some real food. How'd you like the empanada, dad? Was it good? 
it's oh, yeah. not going to Oh yeah, it tastes great. I can have five of it. <laughs> Seven for a full meal. Okay, so basically, um, we're on our way to a little cocktail hour hosted by someone at the show at their house here in Chicago. They're gonna be ordering pizza for everybody, so I have snacks on deck. I have a protein bar and a little Vienna sausage thing. If they have like fruit or veggies for me to munch on on the side, this is a whole ass meal. I will be set. Okay guys, I found a little grazing board with fruit. So I think if we combine the fruit, bread, and the little sausage I brought with me, we make a dinner. Let's do that. This is a balanced meal if I ever saw one. We have some little crusty bread, pineapple, strawberries, blueberries, grapes, my little sausage. I grabbed a couple little, little pickles and some olives and this is going to be my dinner. They brought out hummus and vegetables, so I got red pepper, cucumbers, and celery. This is legit. This is a meal, guys. We have won. Look at Dad making friends. I'm sorry, there's like loud music here, so I'm gonna talk super close to the camera so I don't get copyrighted. I already went to like the first part of the jewelry conference I'm at, but I got really hungry because there was no food. So I'm at a place called, I can't believe it's not me. It's a vegan vegetarian place and I'm gonna shoot a video for Instagram here. So I'll show you everything that I get when it comes out. Although obviously I'm not gonna eat everything now. I'm gonna bring some food back for my dad and also I met another vegan lady. So I'll bring some food back for her too. I literally just put everything away and then I remembered I have to show you guys what I got. Okay, so these nachos, okay. They might not be the most bright and colorful, but when I tell you, this is the closest to non-vegan nacho cheese I've ever had in my entire life. And that makes everything taste so nostalgic and, nostalgic and delicious. I mean it. These fries, so freaking good. Just so crispy on the outside and well seasoned. This is a burger with cheese. It's giant, it's delicious, but like it's a burger with cheese. What else do you, like, what do you expect? Another thing that really surprised me was this pizza. It has cheese pull. Now, I don't wanna get my hand dirty, so I'll include a video clip I already took, but you could see the remnants of the cheese pull when I like pulled out the slice, right? Blew my absolute mind. So I'd give this whole place like a solid eight and a half out of 10. Really awesome spot. Hello, okay, so what did I actually eat for breakfast? A slice of pizza, a quarter of the thing of nachos, and a few fries, and like a bite of the burger. I can't really eat all this shit for breakfast, otherwise I'm gonna be like sick, you know? No one wants to feel heavy and oily for breakfast. Um, so, in order to balance everything out, I actually went into Aldi because I saw it across the street and I bought two apples and a pack of berries. Um, and I'm probably gonna have the berries when I'm back at the conference and maybe an apple. This way I got to review the yummy awesome food, but also I get some like fruit in my diet. Let me show you what I got. They called this a rainbow pack. I really like that. And then, the best apples of all times. I got two of them. And I'm gonna catch an Uber back to the conference. It's going to be their lunch break once I get there. And then I'm gonna find the other vegan ladies that I met and be like, hey guys, I have pizza, you want any? And see if they want some. I guess successful ASGM work and Madre de Dios is the part of Peru that many of you saw on the news just a few weeks ago. I saw this piece about Madre de Dios by artisanal gold mining. Women. When in their mind, they didn't have not even a single woman. Who tells the miners that their narrative is important? And how do you tell them in a language that they understand? I left my pizza outside the little conference area. Let's see if it's still here. I don't know if it's still good cold. Let's see. Oh, it's definitely soggy. It's still good though. Mm. Everyone is just mingling and stuff after the conference. They do have this like little snacking, grazing thing going on over here. Let me show you. And there are some vegan things on here like crackers or veggies, but I'm actually going out to eat with my mentor and my dad later tonight and I'm really pumped for that. You're probably familiar with where we're going. I've been here once before. It's the Chicago Diner and I'm really pumped to go again. I'm also excited to get to hang out with my mentor for the first time in person really. We've been like zooming online for over two years. But while everyone eats, I'm having a Diet Coke. 
We're here. My dad's inside. My mentor lady hasn't arrived yet. Her Uber's running a little bit late, but I hope my dad likes vegan food. Hi, Dad. So for those of you who don't know, Chicago Diner is a little bit of a legend in like the vegan restaurant space. It's been around for a really long time. Um, it's not fully vegan. I think it's like vegan vegetarian. And I've been here once before with my mom and we had a really good time. So we're gonna have my dad eat vegan food and he's gonna rate it for us. All right, we have to see what you would want to eat. So my dad got a Thai stir fry. I got a Cuban with, with a side of mashed potatoes. And then, would you like to say hi a little bit? So this is Andrea, and she got a Reuben with a side of steamed veggies, what it looks like. So I read the article on the plane. Kind of, there's, there's still things to do. So we were just about to leave and then Andrea suggested we get milkshakes. I couldn't finish a whole one, so we asked for one split into two cups. This is chocolate chip cookie dough. And they made each cup so cute. Um, we'll have to do a little taste test. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> well, that's really good. They really do a good job. Mm. Oh yeah. Hey guys, good morning. I need to run into the auditorium because everyone's kind of pooling in there right now. But I wanted to say good morning. Good morning. Um, I have a black coffee because they don't have non-dairy creamer over here. But I do have a bunch of snacks in my bag. Uh, we're going to be here in the auditorium listening to speakers and watching a little documentary for like the first half of the day. And then we're heading to the airport because tomorrow I have Riva New York's first pop-up. I'm so nervous. I hope by the time you watch this, it would have happened already. But I hope y'all come because if no one comes, I will cry. That's not a guilt trip, it's just a fact. And no one wants to see me cry. I'm sure I'm being dramatic. I'm sure it'll go great. Cheers. I'm gonna go learn about artisanal gold mining. Well, you were telling me yesterday that um, seeing your business now scalable, you wanna talk a little bit about how. It's lunchtime and I have found a meal. We have black beans, rice, iceberg lettuce, tomatoes, and like an Italian dressing. I think that's pretty good. So eating this and talking more, and then we have to leave the airport in a couple hours. I was hungrier than I thought, so we're on plate number two of rice, beans, salad, and Italian dressing. As many of you know, I have a pop-up tomorrow. I was gonna catch a 6 p.m. flight from Chicago to New York, land in New York around nine, go to my parents' house, and then leave in the next morning from my parents' house because of the marathon closures. That was the plan. That was the plan until our flight just got delayed to 9 p.m., which means I'm landing in New York at midnight instead. Am I scared it's gonna be delayed again? Yes, because right now, due to winds, everything is a shit show over here. So instead of cry, I'm gonna have dinner. We have some popcorn. And we have the only vegan meal I found in the entire terminal, which is a hummus and vegetable wrap. Did you expect anything else? I didn't think so. I also found this place that has artisanal chocolate and I figured why not treat myself to a raw almond butter bar with coconut nectar. Fancy. So I'll be eating this for dinner while I probably edit and try not to freak out I feel like everything has gone wrong with this pop-up. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. I'm running on three hours of sleep. Last night, we didn't get back here till like 2 a.m. Slept a couple hours. We're getting up and I'm doing this thing. I'm not hungry, but I think since I have my brother with me to go like um, set up, I'm gonna drive past Starbucks and get Starbucks for both of us. And then we're going to Riva New York's first pop-up. I dreamt about it all night, so it must be Freely on my mind. Okay, we're here, we're all set up. I grabbed the coffee from Starbucks, already drank it. Let me show you our tables. Oh, and we already made a sale. We already made a sale. I was so afraid we weren't gonna sell anything, so now I feel better. So here's our first little table and it has our logo on it. That's my little brother. We have signs. This one says ethical sourcing and then we have made in Brooklyn. Um, this is like the expression collection table so you can build your own sort of necklace and bracelet here. And then we have another table here. 
And these are like my favorite thing that you're showing today. These little heart necklaces and these heart little stone necklaces. I'll show you a better, a better display of them. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Anyway, so I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, wait, 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 I'm like so hungry. One second. I brought a protein bar with me. I'm gonna be eating this for breakfast. This hazelnut nougat bar. It's been non-stop action since we set up, so I'm just gonna record this really, really, really quick. Super awesome restaurant just gave us food, Krishna Kitchen, right? It's right here, so apparently they follow me and they found out that I had barely slept last night and they wanted to make sure I had lunch. So they gave us mango lassi and samosas and this curry thing, I don't know what it is, but it smells really good. And these like fried little veggie things that I, I know the name of, but it's not coming to mind for some reason. So I'm gonna share this with whoever wants to eat it, probably Roberto and other people, and this is gonna be my lunch. Starlight on Instagram got me these little crispy bites and I'm gonna try them. You got one, babe? They look like chocolate covered rice crisp. Okay. Okay, no one's at the booth right now, so we're gonna do a little taste test. Do you guys want one? <laughs> it tastes exactly how you'd imagine it. It's a rice cake with chocolate on it. Want one? Thank you. Hey guys, I'm home. I'm so tired. Um, the pop-up went pretty well. I met a bunch of people. I met a bunch of you guys. I made eight sales, so I'm really happy with that. And I'm finally home and I didn't have any energy to cook, so Roberto ordered some takeout for us. I got a spicy tuna roll and kimchi dumplings. I've never had the kimchi dumplings. I hope it's not just kimchi. I hope it's like shit and kimchi, like vegetables and kimchi. We're about to find out, I guess. Here they are. It's, it's, oh no, I think it's just kimchi. No, it's like vegetables and kimchi. This is good. I got a little sushi roll. So I'm having this for dinner. Good night. Good morning. So I am so exhausted today. I do still have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work, but I decided I am working from home. So I have started working. I already answered all my emails and my DMs and all that, but I got hungry. So I'm gonna heat myself up some Vans waffles. We have two little chocolate chip ones. So I'm gonna heat those up and have those for breakfast. Probably just plain in my hand because I don't feel like doing anything to them. Uh, Berto gave me some of his spicy tuna roll he didn't eat yesterday, so I'm gonna eat his leftovers. I mean, they're not really leftovers. He purposely saved them for me because he knows I like it. When I was younger, my family used to eat lebanese a lot, which is like a cheese yogurt dip type thing, okay? And what we would do is we would mix in garlic and salt and paprika. And I haven't had that in a really long time, but I've been craving it. So what I did was I put garlic, salt, and paprika inside Kite Hill's little protein Greek yogurt thing and I'm eating it with pop chips and it turned out so good. Mm. I was very, very wise and before I left to Chicago, I put this thing of fried rice in the freezer so that I could eat it when I get back because I knew I was gonna have no meal prep. So I'm eating this for first dinner, I guess. And my dad's calling me. I'm making a mug cake. It does not look great, but I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I made a weird ass wrap. I don't know if this is gonna be good at all. Inside this is sweet earth ham, which is weird. I don't like the ham. It's okay, it's not terrible, it's just not great. But I have it, so I'm using it up. Broccoli, blue cheese, and mustard. I wanted chipotle bitchin' sauce, but when I got it out of the fridge, <sighs> it's been there for a long time, so it looked a, a little bit bad, so I didn't want to eat it and then get a stomach ache. So that's why I went with the blue cheese mustard combo, because I didn't know what else, other sauce to put in here. Taste test. Oh, and broccoli. Did I say broccoli? It 
It's edible. Good night. Good morning. I am back at work. I didn't meal prep anything because I'm going on another work trip tomorrow, but this video ends today, so you won't be coming on that work trip. That being said, I wanted to like bring things that were quick to make and weren't like meal preps or whatever. So for work, I made these like little tortilla mustard ham pinwheels. You know the ham I tried yesterday that was just like, eh, it wasn't that good. Anyway, I made that. And then I made more of that dip with the Greek yogurt and the chips. So that is what I will be having for breakfast. I already had my coffee. I also brought my overnight oats. That I'll eat later. Ciao. Don't mind if you hear my dog sweetie toy in the background. So I was so busy, I was editing and I went to go vote and I haven't eaten since I last recorded which was like, I don't, eight hours ago, I don't know, a long time ago, and I was just sitting here so hungry, waiting for my order. They sent us the wrong stuff. They sent us someone else's completely different order, and I don't know if I should just eat my overnight oats, or wait for them to send me new food. But we're waiting for the restaurant to call us, and we'll find out. So part of it is edible. So I will be eating the salad, this avocado roll, and this edamame, and they're gonna resend me my tofu teriyaki. Archimedes loves edamame. Right, Archimedes? Yeah, Mish, Mish, you want edamame? Come. Wait, wait. Here. The polls are not at St. for Hamilton. They're no. At school They're that here. they normally are on 86th yeah. Street. Mm-hmm. My tofu has arrived. I'm actually not even hungry anymore, but I'm still going to eat a little bit because, you know, protein. That's all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you got some meal ideas or you were just entertained. Let me know what other places I should check out in Chicago next time I go, because I really want to go back. Don't forget to check out my Patreon. It's down below. And that's all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. That's all for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Daisy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, Clark, and Sarah. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!